Question is, what was the um, the social life for young adults, the, the <laughs> dating scene, whatever you want to call it, how was that uh, society in this area, how was that driven? You can talk about the pie suppers. Well, we had uh, what we call pie suppers at the schools. A girl would bake a pie and a, her boyfriend was there. He would tried to get somebody to go see when his girlfriend came up behind that sheet. But he auctioned off her pie. Then they got through. The school got money and you got to eat the pie with whatever girl she bought the pie from. He would bid on it. He would bid on it. Sometimes it got heated because if two guys like the same girl. But whoever wound up get, paying the most money got the pie. Eats it with a girl. And we had uh, we went to bean stringings, not that was that fond of stringing beans, but you got a whole bunch of kids there, apple cuttings, and uh, we used to have a lot of young people. Revival meetings we love, not so much for the spiritual as the get together time. <laughs> you walk about 10 miles to a, to a church service, and uh, they had young people's meeting, and everybody went to church, no question. They had been a minister, you sure went. I met my first husband, Bill Peters, at Joe Palos's young people's meeting. He'd usually get a whole bunch of us together down there on Cow Creek Church, by Cow Creek Church. And he, we didn't know it at the time, but he'd have some other guy out in the cemetery. And at an opportune time of telling ghost stories, he'd jump out with a sheet on his head and scare us all to death. And that's where I first, I met my first husband there. Uh, I thought he was a jerk the first night I met him. But he grew on me after a few times and we wound up married. I had three beautiful children. Didn't he pay you a real nice compliment <laughs> your first visit? Yeah, he thought it was a compliment. I, I was wearing a red dress that night and he, he said, I always did like red even if it was on a cow. <laughs> I called him a jerk, wouldn't have nothing to do with him for a long time. <laughs> what was the the procedure, the proper norm for a young man to call on your home to they, your parents? They would walk you home from a, like young people's meeting, they'd ask if they could walk you home. Up a holler, usually. You would sit in a room with a yeah. room full of kids, brothers and sisters. You sure weren't alone together. No, and uh, they would they would meet your mom and dad, you know, and introduce themselves. Or walk you to church. Yeah. With a with a whole bunch of other kids. With Bill, he'd usually go up. Daddy stripped back. <laughs> I told him at first. I think he saw more of Daddy than he did me. But uh, you know, you weren't alone too much. You were all chaperoned. It was, and they, when they got ready to ask you to marry them, they asked you first, but then they had to ask your dad. And what if the dad said no? Well, I, I didn't have that experience, so I don't know what happened. Daddy told Bill, when Bill asked him if, if we could get married, Daddy said, I hope you know what you're getting into, Bill. <laughs> She's the queerest child I've raised. <laughs> I said, gee, thanks, Dad. <laughs> That's what he said. That's what he said. He said, well, I'm just being honest. She's the queerest child I've raised. I hope you know what you're getting yourself into. He wasn't the least concerned about me. He was worried about Bill. <laughs> <laughs>